What's going on guys? It's Dylan and I'm back again with another comic book review. Now today I want to talk about The Mask, issue 3. Now I believe this is 3 out of 5 so I know we got at least one more coming uh, for issue 4. I, yeah, I believe this is a, a 5 issue miniseries coming straight out of Dark Horse. Christopher Cantwell has been doing a pretty damn good job writing this. I really have enjoyed the artwork by uh, Patrick Reynolds and colors by Lee Lowridge. Uh, you know, we start off taking place right in Cleveland, my hometown, and uh, it looks like the mask is like kind of, you know, pulling up, pulling up in on one of these uh, like white crazed meetings, like, uh, and he pulls up and he's like, oh, you know, got the handout like Hail Hitler and stuff, and he's like, what, you know, here, good, pure, white skin, perfect, powerful, green skin, you know, we're all like, you know, screwing around, and basically you figure out that, uh, <laughs> He ends up making a big ass fart and you know taking out all these white white supremacist characters and basically dude he made it with his dude it's crazy like they start burning from the gas the fumes of uh him farting it was absolutely like this issue might have been actually one of my favorites out of the the three so far i really did enjoy this uh i think that this has been just an awesome uh take on the mask i know that the mask is is always been a dark version because I grew up with the Jim Carrey one so when I, I knew that this was going to come out and it was just going to be a mini I thought great way that I could finally read some mask uh, a mask story and you know I've been really enjoying it and it looks like though that this the person wearing this mask because this play takes place two years ago uh, you know he's been going around taking out a bunch of these uh, white supremacists and then you know he uh, ends up brutally killing this guy, you know, talking about, like, you can't take us all out. And he's like, actually, you know, it's easy. Just like this. I'll show you. And then he splits his head open. Uh, I, I really have enjoyed this. Like, it it's dark, it's gritty, and it's fucking hilarious, man. Like, it it's really cool. So days later, you cut to and you see that it, uh, an African-American was the one, you know, taking out these white supremacists and he takes off the mask and he decides to send it to, to somebody and he's like bury or he s decides to send it to somebody in Antarctica and he's like bury this in the ice uh you know Jamie I think it says uh or, yeah Janie bury this in the ice Janie uh far away from everything don't put it on and he gets the she sends it away and he goes home and by the time he gets home, he hears a knock at the door, and he knew, he knew somebody was coming for him. And these guys, uh, it looks like he's actually the African-American. He was a detective, Detective Lionel Ray. And I know, man, you know, I, I, it hasn't really hit me, but I, you know what? I think, I recognize that name. I wonder if he was like the detective messing with Jim Carrey in the movie. Because I've noticed a few of the names, you know, pop up from, uh, because the movie that into this story, you know, obviously Stanley Ipkiss is in this too. Or Stanley Uris, I forget exactly what it was. I think it's Stanley Ipkiss. But before, you know, he tells them, he, they're like, yeah, we know you sent the mask somewhere. But where did you send it? Before he can even say, he slits his wrist, dude. Like, God, man, that shit was crazy. And uh, he's like, fuck you, stooge. And he won't tell him where it's at. He dies. He dies with the secret. So we uh, we cut to like this uh, other guy, and he's like beating his wife, and it, the, like he's hearing the mask talk to him, like "fuck's wrong with you, Abner? You know, sack up," because his wife is basically telling him like, you know, please stop this, Ab. You know, and he's like, it's the only way to win. And she's like, why is this so important? He's like, listen, bitch, you never understood. You're weak. Don't sabotage this for me or I'll fucking kill you. Medicare for for all single payers, better schools. I swear to Barack, you don't have a clue. And she's like, you promised every taxpayer a weaponized drone. You said you'd kill the homeless. You told that tech bastard he could surgically install webcams into people's private parts. And he bitch smacks her like, you fucking treasonous whore. And she, she wipes her mouth with blood dripping from her lip. Like, you're an evil little shit. You're an overcompensating bug with a micro penis. You'll never see me or your kids again, Abner. And he's like, good. You drag me down. Good. Like, leave then. You know what I'm saying? And 
the mask basically talks to him like that a boy there you go like that now we can get back to work now like he's like now can we get back to work please so we cut to uh, Edge City downtown three months ago it seems like a lot of this is kind of taking place kind of getting catching up to something and there's a car crash and this ends up leading to something because you find out that this guy the guy that's been working there's a car crash in this guy who looks like maybe he was homeless or something he finds the mask and he says you know uh, everybody he saw he saw the car crash and he walked walked up he saw that everyone died but he was hungry so he went into their wallets to, into the car so you know but there was something else inside and he found the mask so then it cuts to now and you know it looks like he's talking actually it looks like uh, yeah, the two of these guys, like the private eye, I think is talking, and another guy, and they're just basically talking about, because they both are wearing the mask, and it looks like the mask is giving them bad dreams and shit, you know, it's just, uh, they've had trouble sleeping over the last couple years, you know, like, some, it, some for some people, it's just too much, once you wear the mask, like, you kind of end up going crazy, so, we cut to the mask, and we get to some gritty shit, man. And this guy who's working for the mask, kind of like as his manager, he's pulling some fucking, he's pulling some slick shit behind the, behind everybody. And, uh, he's definitely trying to fucking stay close to the mask or big head so that he can get the mask for himself. But, you know, he starts talking like, the big head starts talking like everyone should be working more. And he's like, uh, you know, he's like, you know, maybe the uh, the guy who I was saying, he, he's trying to stay close for a reason. He's like, maybe the debate's a bad idea. Like, is there no other way to say it? And he's like, no, I'll mop the floor with her. And uh, he's like, you don't need to do this. You're already ahead. You, you, this could only hurt you. And he's like, I won't tolerate fear in this campaign. I'll let... Uh, and then this one white guy, uh, you know, with a cheeky smile. And he's like, all right, let's leave, leave room for the old Holy Spirit, eh? And then Big Head's like, listen, buddy, you're a guest in this country. Ever hear a walking softly, but uh, carrying a big stick? Well, I'm a big stick kind of guy, and I think you could learn a lesson in American exceptionalism. And he's holding up the flag, and the guy, the cheeky guy, you know, he's like, Mr. Big, big Head, I think you've mistaken who I am, and pulls out a gun. He's like, oh, he's like, we're doing guns now. I love I love guns. Big propen, uh, propenant of the Second Amendment right there. And the guy, the you know, the African with uh, the dreads, he's like, you know, gentlemen, gentlemen, trying to calm him down. Dude, the cheeky motherfucker shoots Big Head off, rip, like, rips his damn, like, ri shoots him in the head, rips his damn brains out of his head. And he's like, you think too much. You're not seeing the bigger picture. And then bites his fucking eye out. And then I love the part where uh, he, it reminded me just of Jim Carrey. When he's like, owie. So, big head, man. Like, all fucked up. Missing his brain. Missing an eye. Like, and he's still going. He's like, don't choke. Don't choke so close to victory. And uh, he's like, you need thicker skin. And, dude, he takes the pole and, and freaking whacks him with it. But somehow he didn't kill him, man. And, the uh, you know, the dread the dreadhead is able to break it up. And he's like, gentlemen, like... You know, I hate enough of these fucking puns, man. I hate them. He's like, actually, uh, many of them were double entendres. He's like, the candidate has a debate to prepare for. So we cut to three days later, and he's got... Dude, we're about to get to some crazy-ass shit. And, you know, it, you, you find out that the guy who was pimp-slapping his wife earlier, you know, he's obviously the one with the mask. And we get to the debate, and the debate is just absolutely awesome. Like, every time they go to ask, you know, the uh, the woman who's running for president, maybe she's trying to, maybe, like, the writer's putting her kind of as, like, a Hillary, uh, Hillary Swank type chick or something. I don't know, man. Well, whatever that, whatever that Hillary Clinton type chick. Yeah, I was about to, I, Hillary Swank, but y'all know who the fuck I mean. But every time she's, uh, this woman tries to say something, he, uh... <laughs> He just co totally interrupts her, and he's like, careful, you don't shit your panties on live TV. And as soon as they ask him a question, he's like, here's what we're going to do. We're going to, you know, when they start talking about uh, the board, like, 
she's like, we got to increase the border, a stronger border, increase personnel, uh, stricter consequences, and team up. And soon, he's like, here's what we're going to do. He's like, we're going to root them all out. We're going to load them onto a, a decommissioned Navy ship, and then we're going to sink the ships in the international waters. How's that for deterrent? And, dude, um, like, everyone in the crowd just starts going like, woo, yeah, USA. And they're like, what else you got, pretty little pony? And... Uh, one of these guys, you know, I've been I've been a bit confused with some of these guys, man, because it goes back and forth. Like I don't know who the hell. I think it's like the private eye, that the uh, the the woman that's running up has hired. But it looks like the wife that got bitch smacked earlier. She calls Detective Kellaway. Yeah, that's who it is, the detective. And he's like, it's my husband Abner Med. He's big head. So it looks like we found out that officially right now Abner Med. He is uh, the one playing Big Head. <clears throat> and so, you know, Big Head goes, look, it's a fore foregone conclusion. We'll have po pollinating nanites by the time all the insects die. Plus, I'm going to bomb the Middle East so badly, it'll look like glass. That oil will be ours, and I'm going to get all you fuckers a four-bedroom condo on my... Uh, <laughs> four-bedroom condos on Mars anyways. So then we cut to the guy who I told you is staying close to Big Head for a reason. And he was actually, when those guys were driving and got into that car accident, that mask was on the way to him. He was the one paying these these guys to, you know, go search and bring this mask from Antarctica. They had to get the, they went all the way to Antarctica for that mask and brought it through customs. And they were like, it was a pain in the ass. And we were, you know, a couple, seven blocks away. And then that guy got into an accident because they rushed him, rushed Rushed the job, you know, the guy didn't sleep for 51 hours, and the guy fucked up, and they rushed him, and he got into that car accident, and then the mask was never seen since. And they, it looks like they went to, uh, they went here, the, 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 they recovered the wood from the Elf Dalian Forest in Scandinavia, but it was nothing compared to the Incan Pigment. I lost 11 guys total. So it looks like they got the certain wood that the mask is made out of and that they're going to take they got the dimensions and all the uh the pic the cr they cross reference the depictions in the ancient scrolls and the SLR photos we've taken off the candidate so they've been trying to figure out all the little details and they're going to start 3D scanning 3D uh printing immediately and it looks like this dude he's about to cook up his own mask and try to fucking see if he can make his own mask himself so wow like that's pretty cool and i want to see what the fuck is gonna go down next and uh here we go cut back to the damn thing and they're like you know uh listen she starts going like listen this is stupid big head is a murderer and he's like hold your horses honey you're the murderer you killed your boyfriend stanley ipkiss in cold blood and she's like uh, 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 uh. he's like i'm the servant you're the winner you're the sinner murderer lock her up lock her up the crowd goes people for god's sakes don't be fucking idiots she says you know, and he's like big head goes you hear that she called you idiots just like the out of a touch just like an out of touch elite he's like and then the lady doing the interview is like perhaps we should get back on topic and he goes sicker folks and then dude the crowds just go crazy and they start chasing her ass and she's like no wait i'm a mo i'm just a moderate and <laughs> Dude, he, you know, Big Head, it wouldn't be Big Head if he don't get, get into character as, like, uh, an army man. He's like, we're so gallantly screaming. And he's like, except I was never in the army. Just the Civil Air Patrol. But who knows the difference, right? Go fuck yourself. <laughs> Dude, I absolutely have been getting such a crack up out of this book, man. It's just been so fucking funny. Um... And they're, they're basically riding, they're chasing the girl, and she's trying, she's like, Uber, Uber, come on, Uber Black, Uber Black, seven minutes, shit, fine, Uber Select, come on, come on, and then she's got an Uber waiting, she goes right to the, uh, the hotel that it looks like Detective Calloway's staying at, and he, you know, he's like, rough night, huh, and he's like, what do you want to do, and she's like, no shit, and he's like, well, what do you want to do now? And then, uh, you know, we get to a pretty weird part, but we, uh, she's like, how about a hard fuck before the end of the world? Grabs the dude's dick. She, he grabs her tits, and she's like, no. Um, the, grabs his hand, and she's like, no, I'm the boss. And then, 
Yo, I was about to make a big joke on my dog Perry. This dude getting some. Look at his face, man. Goofy ass motherfucker, man. My dog. <laughs> Yo, for real. So then after, this bitch is sitting on the toilet and shit, and she's like, uh, you know, so now we kill the motherfucker and smash that mask into pieces. Like, but for real. One more look at this guy, like, he was just enjoying himself too much. Like, this chick, like, messing with this goofy-ass motherfucker, like. <laughs> but that, it was weird, though, how this one ended, because usually I thought they would say, like, to be continued or something. This one just ends, and then the next issue, we're going to get January 15th. And, dude, you know, it looks like we got a family of, mat of big heads, and, dude, I can't wait. Like, I really have been enjoying this. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys have been thinking of this series. Uh, I've been, I've always been a big mask fan. I loved the the mask with Jim Carrey growing up as a kid. Uh, I know that this is obviously, you know, the original take that they took from the comics. They just, you know, made it more for kids. But I always heard that it was a darker take. So I was, I was so in when I heard that they were doing a, a Dark Horse was doing a mini series. So. Yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I'm definitely interested in, to know what other people are thinking about this. If you guys wouldn't mind hitting that like button on your way out, hitting that sub, uh, subscribe button, hitting that bell notification so you get all updates on upcoming videos, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.